All right, guys, uh, in today's video, it'll be a little bit different. I know we got a lot of stuff going on right now, so this is really just going to be a update on what's going on with every car video. The only one that hasn't, isn't going to have any changes, Pat. It's just sitting in the corner ready to go. We're going to redo the turbo kit on it eventually, but we got some other stuff cooking right now, so we're going to be showing turbos, motors, stuff for stuff for all of our cars basically so let's get into it I wonder if they got all the stuff. oh wow Ooh. yeah that's nice how'd they get that thing in there they might have i don't know they might have thrown around it oh it's smart yeah. you wanna <laughs> hold that while i try to get this thing out this is the yeti's new turbo from Force Induction Solutions, right, Jose? Jose Zayas, yeah. Sold both the twins off the Yeti. As you can see, I'm, it's apart right now. It's not doing yeah. in the best shape. Yeah, that's fine. But. It's got a big old exhaust housing on it. I mean, this thing, that's probably five, five inches. Inch, yeah. yeah. So this is the Yeti's new 94. Yep, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get this thing back. Get get this thing. I mean, there's the motor. Yeah. We ain't got. We haven't. I have the intake it. and everything off, but yeah, we just gotta have the motor right here. That's why we're taking the stock five three out. I know it's a miracle that it was running. When we're yeah, I, that would have lost money. I already <laughs> told you. I, I'm like, I know this ain't coming back out yeah. in one piece. I should have bet you money. You it, pro it probably wouldn't have came out in one piece if the transmission didn't break. No, we we was freaking <laughs> to see how fast an actual stock five Gen three five yeah. three would go. <laughs> so this is the Yeti's new motor. It's a six O. Uh, I posted a video on us building it. Just six O, cheap pistons, cheap rods, uh, stock crank. Nothing really special about it. The, some, the best thing in it's a Brian Tooley camshaft. Yeah, that's about. That's <laughs> Everything what, else is just. And some cheap head studs from. They, we got the ninety nine dollars head studs or whatever. Oh, Speedmasters yeah. or something. And then, oh yeah, you welded up your. Oh yeah, I welded headers up on my, this thing. My headers. Ugh. Don't look at the welds Ugh. too good. I wasn't stacking dimes that I was. It was too early. It looks good though. You got not got a lot of heat in it and stuff, so. Yeah, I cranked it all the way up. I thought that's what you. Well, I tacked yeah. it all the way around and it heated the cast iron up, and then I welded it. Yeah, see there you you're go. supposed to. I think you're really. Well, you're supposed one, to. One, you're probably not supposed to weld stainless steel to you're cast not. iron. I seen somebody in your comments say there's no it. way that's gonna work and yeah. all this. You're but. supposed to at least heat up the cast yeah, iron. Yeah, so I, I think, heated so. it up with like four tacks. Pretty hard tacks, and they wet, warmed up, and then I just laid a beat yeah. all the way around. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's for the olds. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, got, I mean, I don't know if you should, look. I even you haven't seen that. I even got that uh -huh. on. Uh, okay. Oh. So you got you got the coil wire and everything. Yeah. On coil now. wires <laughs> on. Caps on. I got my return lines all hooked up. Yeah. I'm waiting on Still a couple waiting on of some fittings, fittings, and then this is gonna get all weird up here. But, uh, and then you said we need a box. So yeah, you yesterday ordered I went on a... and I found a. It says MSD EFI digital box or something like that. Yeah. For, yeah. You sent me a picture so. of it. So. Pretty soon we will be bolting the head. Now that you got the header flanges on, we're gonna we, bolt those on. We literally, we could fire this thing up and just, just wiring it. Once you get the holly wired and I start hooking all my sensors up, we'll, we'll be firing this thing up pretty quick. Yeah, so now what's going on? What do you got going on with the dragon then? Well, the red dragon, the big block is in Machine shop jail. I'm saying yeah. that just for him. So take that. Uh, but um, we're gonna get the big block back. We're gonna, of course, have a build on. We're gonna show us putting it all together. Yeah. And then we're either gonna raffle it off or we're going or to sell, just it. sell it outright if somebody wants it. I mean, it's gonna be a. It's a 534 cubic inch for a turbo. It's gonna be double O ring this time. Yeah. So. 55 pounds of boost is what it's built for. 
I mean, I've never had more than I've never had more than twenty six on. Yeah, we were in twenty six at but one time. It's gonna be the stuff this time for somebody else because yeah. You well, got look, some, I got my tires, and I, I don't even have a running. Car. I see that. And then I got. You sold your one oh seven. I sold my one oh seven, and I bought this. This is probably like a 76. So, so this is a 75. <laughs> it's as big around as this 120 pound can, but. So this is a 75, oh no, We're gonna say it's a 75, 88. This is a 75, 88 turbo right there yeah. for you. And then I got my Gen 3 block, Jerry's machine, bored and honed it out, put timberings in it for me. So it's a 30 over 6.0. Yeah. And I'm putting, I'm putting, actually good rods and pistons in it but stock crank and we're gonna shift it at 7400 and see what it'll do so there you go so so you're saying my rods and pistons ain't good in mine or what? i mean i'm saying that they was half <laughs> i paid twice as much money so they gotta be twice okay as good. see there so, you go but yeah the rods i bought i bought some eagle 3d l19 rods and they said they're good for 1500 horse so that means okay. 3000 horse Hey, there you go. So that those will handle at least forty five pounds of boost. Oh, is what you're saying. every bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you got some. You got, oh, good, I got your heads. heads. Yeah. I just got some stock heads. Stock square ports. Stock. Uh, they're LS three heads, but man, they're nice. I mean, I was gonna port them. Yeah. If I was gonna go with a stroker crank and build a 408, but since I'm just 370 cubic inch, these are plenty big enough. Yeah. So, uh, and the cam, I put a big Brian Tooley camshaft in it. And um, <laughs> what's it like having nice, like nice heads? <laughs> I don't. Know, I mean, we'll probably do all this, and it probably won't even get out of its own way. It'll probably, it'll probably run 650. All I something. got is just stock 317 heads on yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your stock 317s will probably do 140, <laughs> and mine will be over here at 115 or something. I'd probably be better off just putting the 53 in that thing. And depending on what happens, we may still we may put be putting the 53 in it. So but that's kind. Of, I ordered the Holly. I ordered. All my internals. I mean, there's still I still got a lot of money to spend, but but I mean, you know, like I say, we need to get that big block together and see if somebody wants a yeah. EFI turbo. Yeah, because you, you got an intake manifold for regular I've and or a, EFI, I've got don't a killer you? Killer intake manifold for it. So, yeah. Yeah. Huh. But so that yeah, that's really just kind of a, going on. yeah. Look if at our if shop, the shop I mean, looks like a little bit of a mess right now, it's because it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, and we're building Billy's oh, big and block. And we're building the big block over here. So. Yeah. And I've already honed it. All I'm waiting on is just a warmer day than 7 degrees yeah, it's, to wash it. I think right now it's like 19 degrees outside and ice on the Tonight's ground. Gonna be seven. And it's going to get down to 7. So yeah. we're not doing much this weekend. I walked 100,000 steps in the past four days. Yeah. So, and that's 40 eight miles because it was 12 miles a day Woo. so i'm kind of spent for this weekend but hopefully next weekend's a little bit warmer i don't know if it's supposed to be or not if it was warmer today we would be doing something probably anyway yeah i don't know we got a lot of stuff coming up yeah we have a lot of stuff coming 2022 up 2022 is gonna be exciting <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of working videos a lot of work. <laughs> so uh a but lot of how to or how not to yeah but once we get everything kind of going, it'll be about good. I really want me and me and Dad to go on the Rocky Mountain Race Week this year, or Drag Week cool. in the olds, cool. in the olds, and in Pat. How cool would that be? I mean, I showed that I can drive at least a hundred miles in the Yeti. If it wasn't uh, vibrating, the Yeti would have made that trip fun, you know. And, and Pat, Pat would have made. Pat would have been great. You've, at driven, that you've thing. driven Pat two hundred miles in a night. Yeah, so. I know. So I think that's. Once the uh, registration and everything comes out for Rocky Mountain Race Week or something like that, I think I, I think that's something that I would like to do, especially if we could do it in our cutlasses. It'd be fun. We need to get Johnny in on it too. I don't know if he can do it in the Cuddy, but maybe his silver truck. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it'd be cooler if he did it in the Malibu, but <laughs> it would be cool in the Malibu. <laughs> That Malibu motor would be struggling. I don't know. I've, after seeing all the stuff we're doing, he's talking about building a stock block LS now. For it? 
for the Malibu, yeah. Well, hey, for a spare for the cutting motor, he said. Okay. But that's for, the Ma for the Malibu. For the Malibu. Yeah. yeah, I think he should do that. And we, I think we should all go on the Rocky Mountain race, yeah, race week or something. Fine. Yeah. But anything else we got going on? I don't really think so. We're yeah. gonna paint, we're gonna take off the Yeti's front end eventually and paint it. Yeah. Maybe. Are we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we said that a while ago, yeah. but we need to check that paint that we got. Yeah. I had I tried to match the color on it as best as I could. Sent it to uh, O'Reilly's and got something back, and it came out brown, but now, basically. Uh, but we got a new color that we need to try. That's what this is supposed to match, the Yeti. So yeah. But now we got a new color. When it warms up a little bit, I'm gonna try to paint it it's, again. It'll probably be frozen. It probably won't yeah. even come out of the can now. But. but I would like to. Oh, well, we ordered axles. Oh, we ain't yeah, even talked got, about that. Yeah, we got Mosier axles coming because. Oh, and I sent my converter PTC. We got all kinds of stuff. We got too much going on. I can't yeah. even keep up. My transmission's out of the Yeti. I'm going to do a full video on us tearing this thing apart, but for right now, I figured this would be a good update since we're not really getting into the shop or nothing. Yeah. But the transmission's out of the Yeti. It's going to get a actual case now that's not 57 years old or 60 years old yeah uh the five three's coming out this is going in we have the axles out We're, uh, i bet we get the axles next week or the week yeah. after so because there's a street race going in the uh, going on in tulsa tonight it's I, too if, cold. if i had the axles i'd have been there <laughs> you know yeah. i just switched the axles out and we'd have just kept the tranny in it and I would have just used the nitrous and <laughs> just hit it off the butt, hit it off the Sweet. starting line. Yeah, because they just pulled that eighty-eight up quick. Oh yeah. But well, I haven't given up on like I'm on the fence on what intake to buy for the Dragon because I still got this big old plate and the three seventy-five solenoids. So, yeah. Uh, well, that intake will hold that stuff. It so. would take that plate for sure. I just don't know. You might need it to spool that 98. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you mean a 75. I mean, uh, 88. Sorry, yeah. 75, 88. Yeah, just because the outside says 88 don't yeah. mean nothing. So. But, all right. Yeah, that's just a little update. Pat's still sitting over there, just certified ripper. Ready rip, to go. Certified ripper. We just got to start it and go race. I know. We need to do a. Uh, I need to redo the turbo kit on it because I think one of the cracks, or one of the pipes is cracked. That's how you're controlling the boost now. That's how, that's my boost controller. <laughs> but it didn't work very good if when I raced. If you command 10 and it makes 20 anyway, yeah. it don't care. It didn't, uh, it didn't work very good when I raced Dave because yeah. I had it only going to 15. It was leaving on 10, going to 15, yeah. and it still did. It sounded like it was making 30. It sounded like it was making 30 or 40 out of the back. It was so. sucking in all this cool air. Yeah, but all right. Yeah, that'll be it for today's video. Kind of just an update for everybody uh, on what all we have coming up we got a lot a lot of stuff coming up and uh too much work to do so we'll be out here every morning <laughs> every morning before for, work yeah before work working yeah. so just make sure you like subscribe and we'll holler at you later